Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I know I'm not really in the shot, but that's not important. I'm not important in this particular video. What we want to talk about is the super ultra-wide dual display touch package that we put together. Now, right off the bat, I want to tell you this is showing, in this video, we're showing with the optional honeycomb yoke, and, uh, which is the alpha yoke and the Honeycomb Bravo throttle. And these simply add additional functionality to the system. The, this has a little bit nicer feel on the yoke, a uh, few extra switches here and starter switches. And the same thing goes for the throttle. You've got additional throttle levers here as opposed to the Logitech that comes with it. And of course, this costs more. Um, this Logitech yoke that comes with it will certainly get the job done, but these are a nice upgrade if they're within your budget. We also have some rudder pedals on the floor and uh, working our way up, we've got our 1080p very nice touch screen here. Um, and this allows you to control all your instruments with uh, touch if you so choose. And up here we have a 49 inch super ultra wide monitor running X-Plane 12. And the advantage of running a nice single wide monitor is it's much more friendly on your frame rate than running, let's say, three monitors across here. Now, this is the same uh, size as two 27-inch monitors. So if you're wondering about uh, the size, uh, but we'll get better, much better frame rate than two 27-inch monitors because it's a single display. Uh, but again, has just as many pixels as two 27-inch monitors. Now, um, you see here we're showing the cockpit down on our touch screen, and we also have the cockpit up here. You don't have to do that. You can simply uh, change your view to forwards with scenery only, and then you can fly with just this. Or if you prefer to have the immersion effect of having the cockpit up there, you can do that. Um, and as you see, as I change things, I don't know how to operate a 530, quite honestly. But when you see I change things here, it changes inside the cockpit as well. Just try to make a change. There we go. You can see the change occur there. Um, so let's go over this. This is a um, Cessna 172. This is a panel running in Air Manager. Now, Air Manager is a third party program. We pre install it, we install the plugin, but your purchase for this software is with the company that made it, Sim Innovations. This is around $80. When I say around, that's simply because of uh, the conversion to euros. They are in the Netherlands, if I'm not mistaken. And so that price will vary because of the exchange rate with euros to dollars. Um, also, uh, down here, we're running, this is an alternative panel that they have created. So you can create your own panel, and it comes with a basic 172 panel. But for around 11 ish dollars, you can get this panel that they have made. Um, and it, believe me, it's worth it if this works for you because it just takes time to, to create your own panel. It's not hard, but you know, you, you, you grab the, pan, the, the individual instruments and drag them and drop them where you want them and resize them. It's a little time consuming. So if a panel like this works for you, it's certainly worth the $11 that you may pay for it. It also comes with in that same $11 premium panel, you also get a variant that is for the G1000 which I can pull up now. So you can even set it up to where when you switch to a different plane um, that the associated panel you have created in Air Manager down here shows up. And that's exactly what we've done here. We configured it so that when we switch to the G1000, 172, our G1000 panel comes down here and shows up. Now, as I mentioned, you can interact with this with your uh, finger, with touch. And I'm going to make the cockpit go away up there just because I think it's better like this. You just touch wherever you want to, whatever knob you want to turn, and then it turns blue and you spin your finger and the knob spins. And I'll put some B-roll in of me doing this kind of up close so you can see it. And then all these but I don't know what these do, quite honestly, because I'm not a, uh, an expert on G1000. But... Um, you hit these buttons and uh, with touch, and you know the things happen up here, and they also happen inside the simulator. Um, if we go to uh, back up here to the simulator, 
whenever whatever we do down here, you can see occurring in the sim also. So it's not you know there is definitely a connection between the two, and um, it works quite well. Now another thing that you can do is you can do something. Uh, you can use a knobster. I'm going to make the cockpit go away again. A knobster is this device. It's an optional device we sell along with it. Round numbers, it's around $100. But what you can do is this plugs into a USB port, and then you have to mount it somewhere on your desk. This one knob can control all of the knobs on the screen. And when this is hooked up, when you touch a particular knob, it'll turn yellow. And then you take and you turn your knobster to turn that knob. And for instance, this particular knob has an inner and an outer knob, and it also has a push button on it, this particular knob. So the knobster also does that. It has an outer and an inner knob, and you can push it. I don't know if, I, if you saw that well, but you can push it as well. So it can perform all the functions of this knob, which if I'm not mistaken, is an inner outer knob with a push. And again, this knob can do that. So uh, it's a really good add-on as long as you have somewhere to, to mount this on your desk. You could use double stick tape. There are screw holes here. You know, you could possibly mount it to your, your yoke. Um, but we kind of leave that up to the customer how they want to do it. So um, there you go. There is an overview of the uh, Super Ultra Wide Dual Display Touch Package. There are a lot more panels you can do. I just showed you the G1000 172, I showed you the um, 43530 172, but there are many other combinations you can do. There's a huge repository of instruments. You can build additional panels. You can actually, um, you know, simulate different planes. They've got some pre-made ones in there for, that, for doing so. So I may make a separate video, which you may see down below this one, on uh, the product page, which goes over some of those additional panels that you can do.